Hi everyone! Today I will be showing you how you can make this macrame reef. Let's get started. My first step is to take my longer rope and I'm going to attach it to my ring with a lark's head knot. And you're going to want one side to be much shorter than the other side because we're not going to actually use this to tie the rest of the knots. This is going to be what we use to hang it from. So I recommend leaving about eight inches. And then I'm just going to attach to my ring with a lark's head knot. So it's folded in half here and I'm just going to send it over my ring. The loop's going to be on the bottom and I send those two other strings through that loop and pull them out then I pull it tight okay so my one rope is much shorter than the other but I still have enough length that I can use it when I'm finished so I can tie a loop I guess so we can hang it to our tree <laughs> and now our next step is to wrap the ring using alternating half hitches so I'll start by taking this strand and I send it over my ring. You'll notice that I'm forming a loop here. It curls around that ring and goes through the loop. And I just pull that tight. Then I'm going to take my string and this time I'm going to start by sending it behind the ring. So I still am forming a loop here and it's gonna come from behind, over and around. So it's over my ring and then I just send it through the loop. like that so it will look like I did another little lark's head knot so again I start by taking it over the ring twisting it around so it goes through just like that pulling it tight and then I take it so it comes from behind the ring it curls around to go through the loop And you're pulling it tight just like that so once more to make sure we got the hang of it you take the rope over the ring to start it curls around and comes through the loop just like that you pull it tight then we take our rope and it goes under the ring. I curl it over the ring and around and I'm gonna send it through the loop. Like that. And then I just pull it tight. And that's all I'm doing all the way around my ring. There we go. And this is what it will look like once it's all covered in your alternating half hitch knots. And now what I'm going to do is bring in my fun color rope. This is actually a different size and texture, but it was the only green one I had on hand and I really wanted to use the color green. So it will work great either way. 
and I'm going to use this to tie a bow right on top. So I'm just going to kind of slide it behind these ring, these strings. And first I'm just going to tie one simple knot. And now I'm going to make my bow. So I'm just going to do a loop and a loop and then tie these loops together with a simple standard knot. Just like that. Now I'm not the best bow tire, I'm gonna be completely honest. So go ahead and tie a bow however you guys know how. I'm sure a lot of people tie bows all the time, especially in the Christmas season for presents. I've never mastered it, so this is my best bow, but I think it's really cute. And I'm just going to trim my green so it matches the other side. I do kind of like how it hangs and is lo long like that. I'm gonna cut too much off. Ugh. And my final, final step now is to just tie a simple knot up here so that I can hang this project. So I'm just going to make the loop as big as I want and do a double knot. And that's it. And I'm just going to trim the end so it matches the other one. I am leaving some length just for extra security. And I'm going to fray these ends to make it a little prettier. And there you go guys, here is my macrame reef using alternating half hitch knots and adding a cute little bow, which again, you can use any rope you have for this in any color you want. So, and I think the, if you make multiple of these reefs, it will look wonderful on a tree. I hope you guys found this video helpful and inspiring and thank you so much for watching.